Welcome to the Dell EMC Unity XT Crew Removal and Replacement Series. In this series of short videos, we're going to use Unisphere and UEM CLI commands to identify faulted custom replaceable units on a Dell EMC Unity XT storage system. We'll then look at the ways to prepare the system for service, including service mode and reset and hold modes. We'll demonstrate the removal and replacement of the faulted crew. And finally, verify the replacement crew is working correctly. One of the first things you want to do is to log on to the storage system using the Unisphere interface. This requires that you have initialized the system and provided an IP address in your browser. And once you do that, you're going to be brought to the page that you see here. You're going to have to have a username along with a password. That combination was uh, also set up during the initialization process and once you provide those correct credentials we'll be able to log in and view the dashboard page. From the dashboard page you're going to see that we indeed uh, have an error from the system health view. And we're going to go ahead and uh, hover over that and we'll give you some uh, hints as to what uh, crew that may be. You can then go to the alerts and see uh, if there was alerts generated for that error. And we see here there are critical alerts. And uh, by clicking on that alert, we see the uh, details of that particular uh, alert. And then we can uh, mouse over or click on any of the blue text. Uh, in this case, I also want to verify in the logs that the date and time are the same for that particular alert. You always want to validate the, the date and time uh, and, and be aware of the uh, time when the alerts occurred. So let's go to the system view and from that system view we see the uh, the icon, the error icon in the uh, crew in question here. In this case it's a memory module and that memory module is located on storage processor B. You can see this is the top view. So when you click on that it defaults to uh, the view of where the crew is, the faulted crew is. And by hovering over that we see and confirm that it's again the uh, memory module 2 in this example. Here is a, a UEM CLI MM show command uh, that allows us to uh, validate and confirm the same uh, message in the same crew. And so uh, we're pretty confident we have a, uh, a failure. We need to swap that crew out. And to do so, we need to put the storage processor into service mode. Now since this is on uh, SPB, we come down to SPB, you see I just hit the Execute tab to enter service mode. Anytime you enter service mode or reset and hold mode, you need to go ahead and uh, provide the service password. And uh, you're going to lose communications in this example simply because it was the primary SP. So once it's in service mode, check your LEDs. The SP fault uh, will be Amber. Uh, blue and amber flashing at second intervals. And now we're going to pull out and uh, change the crew. So it's on SPB. We use the tab. We pull that tab out. Go ahead and pull that out by the back. Uh, be careful, it's heavy in the back. And lay it on the table. And because it's SPB, of course, we need to turn it over. Uh, and we need to take off that front cover by uh, just uh, pressing in the two blue tabs on either side and exposing the internals. Now we know from the GUI uh, where, the, uh, where the memory module is. We can see here we're just pointing the memory modules out. They have white ejector tabs. We've located memory module 2 and we've just popped it out with the uh, eject, uh, ejector tabs. Once you have the new uh, DIM, you're going to align that up, align all your, uh, your keys up, and go ahead and press it in with even pressure on both sides of the uh, DIM. And once it's in the uh, in there secure in the slot, go ahead and uh, put your tabs back in place, secure your cover back in place, and go ahead and uh, load that back into the disk processor enclosure. So at that point, we've replaced the uh, faulted crew, uh, the memory uh, DIM memory module, and now we're just going to validate how it works. Of course, you've got to cable your system back up if you indeed. Uh, uh, you know, disconnected all the cables. 
again we disconnected all cables here for clarity but we just uh, cabling it back up and then now uh, we need to uh, bring this into uh, normal mode so you see the storage processor in service mode to bring it to normal mode you uh, have to reboot the SP when you reboot the SP and hit the execute again type in your service password and after 10 or 15 minutes uh, this should come back you see the both uh, SPs now uh, are in normal mode and the uh, crew here from the system view looks good and everything looks uh, pretty healthy at this state well, this is the uh, indication itself the dashboard page again shows no errors the alerts page you see the alerts have been uh, deactivated because of the uh, criticality of the alert it was automatically deactivated once it's fixed and then the logs show uh, that the crew has been replaced and is operating normally and all that looks uh, healthy so uh, from the system view you can go ahead and uh, check out the uh, the summary page we see that we have no issues and the enclosures again from the top view uh, we should be able to mouse over the crew uh, memory module 2 and see that it is in a healthy state as well so everything looks good the, the fix has been uh, uh, implemented and uh, that is how you replace a memory dim in a unity XT storage system.